I love my stunner shades. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about my favorite luxury sunglasses. As usual, I will link everything that's still available in the description below. Let's get started. I have a lot of sunglasses. Before we talk about my favorites, I would say picking the best sunglasses for your face depends on a lot of factors. Face shape, size, color are the most important factors to me. So I have a heart-shaped face, which means like it's wider up here and my chin is a little bit narrow and pointed. I think I look the best in cat eye and like aviator sunglasses, so I tend to buy a lot of those. So don't be surprised if three-fourths of my collection are cat eye. So my favorite sunglasses are these Tulane 50 millimeter gradient butterfly sunglasses. The majority of my sunglasses are either black, tortoise shell, or like a gold medal. I think the thing I love about them is of course, they're like a very, very modified cat eye. I do think these are my favorite because they combine the black and the tortoise shell. I've seen a lot of dupes of these. I think the tortoise shell on the bottom is what really makes it distinct. I feel like the shape is very universally flattering. I feel like it goes with almost everything I wear. I wear a lot of red. These go with it. This goes, of course, with neutral black. They're made of acetate, so they are very lightweight. So as I mentioned, they're 50 millimeters, which I think the majority of my sunglasses are in the 50s. I have one oversized pair that are like 63 millimeters, but I have a heart-shaped face and what I would consider a small head as compared to other people. I don't know. I've had these sunglasses for about four years. I believe they were $400 when I got them initially. So I'm looking on the Nordstrom website and they are approximately $440 inflation, right? So I, I know a lot of people would say, oh, in this situation, why don't you just get a dupe? So I've seen a, some dupes of these, especially like on Amazon. They're just not as sturdy. These are really good everyday sunglasses, hence the reason why I wear them almost every day. I think there's only one other pair that I wear more than these, but they're like what I would consider like a burner pair of sunglasses. <laughs> so burner sunglasses to me are like either, either dupes or something I get from like an H&M or a Zara. I tend to get a lot of my burner sunglasses from Banana Republic, which is a little bit more expensive, but they tend to last. If I'm going out for a run and I'm gonna get all sweaty, I'm gonna wear my Banana Republic burner sunglasses. It just makes sense. They're $80, these are $440, so you do the math. So I found that I was wearing these a ton, but I wanted a, a, just a plain black pair, but I decided I wasn't gonna get these exact ones in black. So recently I was at Neiman Marcus and I saw these that I thought were Celine's. These are actually Oliver Peoples. They are a 55 millimeter sunglass with called Laia, Leia. So when I originally saw these, I thought they were Celine's. I took a picture of the model number, but totally didn't even look at the brand. And I spent a week looking for th these Celine sunglasses and couldn't find them anywhere and finally realized they were Oliver Peoples. So Celine is known for these three little dots in the corner. And I guess Oliver Peoples is starting to do that. It's super confusing. Yes, the dots are slightly dissimilar, but stop. So the reason I like these sunglasses was number one, I wanted an all black pair of sunglasses. I, I do love a cat eye. The Celine's are considered a butterfly sil silhouette and so are these, but these are a little bit more of an exaggerated butterfly. In my mind, I envisioned myself wearing this with more dressy clothes, but the other day I wore it with like a crop top and jean shorts and it looked great. The one thing about these sunglasses is that they have a polarized lens, which is a little weird, especially when I'm looking on my phone and certain things, but I I'll get used to that. I do like the fact that they're a little bit wider. I like the fact that they are black. So I feel like, even though I like the dual color Celine's, there are times where I'm just like, I just want a basic black pair of sunglasses. They're similar to the Celine's, they're made out of acetate. So on Nordstrom's website, these are 490, but I got them for a smoking hot deal on some closeout website. They were the exact same sunglasses. So of course I'm gonna pay $150 versus $490, right? I'm not sure if these are gonna be my favorite because they are fairly new, but I see myself wearing them a lot. So my next pair of sunglasses are these Oliver Peoples 64 millimeters LC sunglasses. They are sold out. These were like the second or third pair of luxury sunglasses I owned. I think the first pair of luxury sunglasses I owned were a pair of black Gucci's, just a basic rectangular shade. I ended up leaving at my cousin's house and her kids destroyed them. I never saw those $300 sunglasses. And it took me a while to buy a new pair. I think these were probably, I may have bought another pair before this, but I feel like I've had these for like 10 years. I need to take them to Nordstrom and get them adjusted. They are a little loose and I'm afraid that I may have stripped them. But before I knew that cat eye sunglasses were my jam, these types of sunglasses were it for me. These are sold out, discontinued, and they are from a bygone era. If you remember like back in like 2010, around that time, everybody was wearing oversized sunglasses. These are from that era. I'm not giving them up because I do think that these are a really, really good pair of oversized sunglasses. They're oversized, but they're not crazy. I don't usually go for this style of sunglass anymore, but I feel like this is the perfect shape for my face. And I feel like it might just be one of those universally flattering shapes that work for everybody. The thing that's special about these is they feature a wire frame, very, very thin. 
and a gradient lens. I'm realizing now that I love a gradient lens. The Oliver People Cat Eye Laya ones are a polarized lens. I'm getting used to polarized lens. I think that they're probably better for your eyes. I just love the way that a gradient lens looks. I feel like they're really elegant, sophisticated, and feminine, and super lightweight because they're made out of titanium. They don't make sunglasses like this. I feel like they're really refined design. And one thing I do like about these is they feel really comfortable on, like on my face, these are the, the one pair of sunglasses that I feel like I can't even tell they're on my face. I could definitely do anything in these sunglasses and not feel like they're impeding anything in my, in my life. I don't remember how much these were. I do believe they were probably in the 300s, like $390. 10 years ago was super expensive. If I recall correctly, I think JLo had these sunglasses and I think that she was a big reason why I bought them, but I like them still. I'm not getting rid of them. They're just so universally flattering on my face and I feel like other people's faces, so I'm gonna stick beside them. So next up are my newest pair of sunglasses. I've been seeing clear sunglasses and glasses everywhere. And then one day during the Nordstrom anniversary sale, I saw these Tom Fords. These are the Tom Ford, sorry, 55 millimeter square sunglasses. I don't usually wear square sunglasses. I'm still not 100% sold on this shape. I think it's super cute. When I was looking at these, there was another pair, another Tom Ford pair that I was looking at, but I felt like the color was wrong. I think this had the perfect color, but the other pair had like more of a cat eye shape. I know, I know, I know. I figured it was time for me to try something different because almost all my sunglasses are cat eyes. Let me know what you think. These are definitely more casual than my usual thing. One of the main reasons I got them was of course they were clear, but I also was thinking of how I was gonna wear them. So I feel like this is a very casual sunglass and I could see myself wearing them with these. So those are my Air Jordan 3s. They're women's exclusive. I don't wear them enough and I was thinking I, I wanted some way to kind of incorporate them more and I think having these sunglasses will kind of make me do that. I got these during the Nordstrom anniversary sale so they were discounted. They're no longer on sale and they are currently $395 which I think is actually a good price for a pair of Tom Ford sunglasses. I have a lot of this pale dusty pink in my wardrobe. I have a bomber jacket and a duster that have this shade. I know I'm going to be able to wear it. So I feel like most of my sunglasses are more dressy and so I needed something that was a little bit more casual and I think this kind of fits the bill. The frame is considered a pink and the actual lenses are considered a mirrored violet. These sunglasses are very lightweight, made out of acetate, but I think the one thing that's different about them is they have like a nylon lens. The nylon lens makes them a little bit lighter than what you would expect. So next up are the Tom Ford 61 millimeter and is pilot sunglasses. They're basically aviators. Confession time, I have like three pair of aviators. I have these Tom Ford ones that are fairly new. I have these Ray-Ban pairs that I've been wearing forever. Yes, the Ray-Bans and the Tom Fords are very similar. The Ray-Bans are 58 millimeter. While the Tom Fords are slightly bigger at 61 millimeter. I will say the Tom Fords definitely feel more luxurious. The thing I like about the Tom Fords, in addition to being a little bit more substantial, they have this tortoise shell, which we already know I love on the sides and this bar on top. So as you can tell, I love aviators. I actually have one more pair, a pair of black Ray-Bans like this that are polarized. I do like those more for, I would say, photo shoots. If you're paying attention, I do like gold metal frames in addition to cat eye lenses. I wear a lot of gold jewelry, so I feel like gold sunglasses just kind of go with my aesthetic. I'm a little hard on sunglasses and I like and I need something that is lightweight but substantial feeling which I think these fit the bill. I wear aviators a lot more in the summer like with white clothing. There's nothing better than like a white dress or a white shirt and a crisp gold aviator, especially with this like brown gradient lens. That's my favorite thing in the world. I feel like the reason I like aviators is anything that's kind of like right around my eyebrow area tends to hit my face perfectly. I was watching another video and the YouTuber said that aviators really aren't on trend right now and that's okay because I think they're a classic. You can still wear them. I think aviators are perfect for men. For women, you know, we like something that's trendy, hot, but men, you can always wear an aviator and never be a problem. What do I love more than an aviator or a, and a cat eye sunglass? Is a gold cat eye sunglass. So these are Chanel. I won't wear these because the reflection on them is killer. So these are Chanel, they're 18 karat gold plated. They're retro mirrored cat eye sunglasses. I love the cat eye shape, of course. I also like the fact that they have tortoise shell on the sides. Y'all already know. It has Chanel written on both sides, so you know. These are completely sold out. I've only seen them on Poshmark and like eBay. The width of these is 54 millimeters. The thing I like about these is they're a more edgy cat eye sunglass. I think most of the other cat eye sunglasses that I have are a little bit more feminine, flirty. These are yeah i tried to wear these ones for a photo shoot and they were really really hard for my friend who was my photographer to take a picture because they were always showing up in them i've been wearing my gold metal sunglasses as much but 
These I'm not getting rid of because I do love the look. Whenever I find an outfit for these, I, I do love it. Since these sunglasses are a little bit more edgy and slightly more elaborate, I tend to wear them with something simple, maybe black or just a neutral color. I feel like cat eye sometimes comes off very feminine. These are definitely more edgy. So these sunglasses were super, super expensive. I feel like they were like $650. They are gold plated. I got them in 2018. I think they were, one of, they were part of the last Karl Lagerfeld collection right before he died. So that makes them special to me. I have one more pair of gold metal sunglasses. So my last pair of gold metal sunglasses are these Gucci oversized, I, think, I believe they're 63 millimeters. They're huge. So the funny thing about these sunglasses, I remember when I was a kid, my mother had a pair just like this. They were, probably weren't Gucci. And I think they were at her actual like glasses. And it wasn't until like last year when I was trying them on for like a photo shoot that I realized, oh my gosh, these are the same glasses that I made fun of my mother for wearing. Life is coming full circle because all the things I used to make fun of my mother for doing, I'm doing like these sunglasses, <laughs> her love of jewelry. Right before the pandemic started, I bought, I ended up buying these because I saw a friend who had them. So what I do love about these sunglasses is they are really oversized. They're a look. I, I don't wear these out a lot. I love these sunglasses for photo shoots. They're some stunners. They're Gucci so, and they have a lot of little Gucci things like these gold pearls. These are discontinued. I have seen a pair that's similar where it's like they have a G on the side. I don't like them as much. I feel like they're a little bit more elaborate. You know, Gucci is known for like bamboo. I feel like this is either bamboo or maybe it's a serpent. I feel like it's bamboo though. These are really, really subtle. It doesn't scream Gucci. It's more like, if you know, you know. These sunglasses were ridiculously priced. They were definitely in the 600s. I got them for much less because of time they no longer were being sold in stores. I've never worn this with anything casual. I do love these for photo shoots. I wore these for one of my favorite photo shoots. I was wearing a leopard print Banana Republic suit with like a bra black bra. The leopard print suit was very, very over the top. And I almost thought I should try something really subtle with them, but Putting these over the top sunglasses with that over the top suit worked really, really well in my opinion. One of my favorite photo shoots of all time. Like I love these sunglasses for photo shoots, but I rarely wear them in real life and I haven't been doing a lot of photo shoots lately. So I need to figure out a way to incorporate them in more into my day-to-day -day life. Let me know if you have any ideas of what I could wear this with in day-to-day -day regular life and not look crazy. So next up are these Lispex Last Lolita sunglasses. I got these in the pandemic mainly because I wanted an old Celine pair that looked very similar to this, but I couldn't get the old Celine ones. I felt like these were a very good alternative. They're super cute. These are a pair of shades that I wear them in real life and I wear them also for photo shoots. They have what I would consider a very narrow cat eye. Most of the other cat eye sunglasses you see me wearing are much bigger on the face. These are very narrow and also what I would consider very retro. Is this considered 60s or 70s? You tell me. They're made from a polycarbonate plastic, which I think makes them more a little bit cheaper than the acetate frames. They're very lightweight. These are very much a casual sun glass for me. I wear them with shorts and fun outfits. I've seen like Beyonce wear a pair of sunglasses like this with like a ball gown. I've never tried that, but I would like to one day try them with something a little bit more dressy. I think the right formal outfit would make a nice counterbalance to these. The width of these is 51 millimeters. So these are probably one of the smallest pair of shades that I own. Another thing that I like that's different about these is I like this black gray smoke lens. I tend to gravitate more towards like more brown or even black lenses, but these gray ones it's just a vibe. So these are really reasonable. I think the, the old Celine pair I've been trying to get on the real real for like $300. These were initially like $119, but they've been on sale for $59 on the Specs website. So why not? They come in a lot of different sizes. I've also seen a red, which I just may get the old Celine pair in red and not these. So those are my favorite luxury sunglasses. Let me know if you want me to do a video about my favorite burner sunglasses. I love sunglasses, jewelry, all types of accessories. If you're interested in some of my favorite accessories, I'm gonna link a jewelry video right here. All right, see you next time. Bye.